Some might wonder what's it all about, trolling flashers and dodgers and tricky looking lures tipped with bits of corn or maggots, when kokanee are known to feed primarily on plankton. Ready? Yeah, yeah not too bad. bad. The real deal is, these are aggressive and curious fish by nature, and if you can get their attention and give them a reason, they often will strike. You know, as you can see there, that's pretty typical kokanee. Gary Morales is a student of these celebrities in the angling world since he makes and distributes a line of tackle just for fishing kokanee. This is the reason he's our host for kokanee trolling. It also helps that he is generous with his hard-won knowledge. Um, and we've got our two surface lines straight up at an angle, lines tapering back to about 75 feet before it hits the water. We've got our two downrigger set, one at five and one at 10. Uh, those are either going to be set at 150 or stagger them at 150 and 100 if you're working points. So when we're talking deep water, that could be anywhere from 30 feet on down to 150 feet. Just kind of depends on what you're going after and where you're fishing. So from 20 feet all the way down to that 60 foot, we've got a lure everywhere down there. Now you can see how fish are going to be able to hit these lures in whatever depth. They don't really have anywhere they can go without running into our baits. As the fish mature, certain colors tend to trigger their defense mechanisms. As they, you know, as they're, they're, they get towards the latter end of their life cycle, they start getting defensive. But if we make them angry, we will catch them. There we go. Yeah, we got a good one here. Okay, I was just off the bottom there, running that pink wiggle hoochie. Yeah, that would have been big fish yesterday in the derby. One, Pretty. just like everything else, talking about dodgers, hoochies, and all the different things. One minute they may be wanting garlic. One minute they may want anise. They also make a garlic crawfish. That's always good. The way we've got this rigged here, we start out with our weight in the front, and we'll talk about uh, using different weights to get the different depths in the water. We've rigged a snap civil snap swivel to the end of our line here, as well as the top of a snap swivel to the bottom here. This allows us to change this banana weight out without having to retie anything. So as we adjust our uh, different weights for different depths, we can just simply snap another weight in there, throw it back out, and get right back to fishing. Trolling for kokanee can be a family sport or a competitive one. It just depends on how much effort you want to put in. Regardless, we're confident you'll find kokanee trolling tactics once refined will get you more fish.